are currently winning. No, this isn't Madden. I, I really hate that video game at the moment. But Vikings now just took the lead in a preseason game against the Arizona Cardinals. I don't care that people are going to say, Jeff, it's only preseason football. Guess what? I'm calling it right now. The Minnesota Vikings are winning the Super Bowl this year, but yet again, I say that every single year, too. When they do, you guys come back to this video and be like, damn, Jeff called that on August 24th, 2019. They're going for two points here. He throws it, and oh, and it's good. Kyle Slaughter got the two-point conversion right there. No? What? That, that was caught. Here's the instant replay. You can see this dude literally caught the ball one foot in, second foot in. That's good. And the NFL's already trying to screw the Vikings from winning the Super Bowl this year. Anyways, good morning, Sax family. How are you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I am very happy right now. Good news is Vikings just beat the Cardinals 20 to 9. So that is a positive thing already to get the day going, even though it's already 4.18 in the afternoon. Nicole? No clue where she's at. I'm gonna assume she's at work, but anyways, you guys haven't seen my family in a while because I haven't daily vlogged or vlogged in a while, so I wonder what my mom is up to. What are you doing, mom? Getting the coffee ready for tomorrow. Coffee? Who drinks coffee? It's all about that monster energy drinks. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, question is, have you seen Nicole at all? Because I've been busy watching preseason football, by the way. My Vikings are officially 3-0. Mike Zimmer has an impressive preseason record of 20 and 4, but we still have yet to win a Super Bowl, so. I think she's working. Oh. I don't know. I haven't seen her all that. Yeah, neither have I, because I've just, like I said, been watching football. Um, I still have been in the mailbox for you before. Oh, I actually got mail. Is it from the IRS again? Literally, I've been getting mail from the IRS like once a week, and I don't yeah, know what to do about it. Sense. No. What's this? doesn't have my name on it. Well, all it says is, as I'm dropping it, Mr. Saxon, there's no address on it. It was in the mailbox. I don't know what to tell you. Do the UPS or postal carrier just drop stuff off without an address on it? I don't know, because it was in there with all the other mail. Well, then I'm going to assume... One of you guys had to come to my house and drop something in my mailbox, which, by the way, please don't come to my house. Don't put random things in my mailbox, like paste pieces of mail. Listen, I'll open up a P.O. box soon, okay, guys? Like, just don't put stuff in my regular mailbox. How in the world do you even open this? Like, up oh, there we go. Cool, that's open. I see no pieces of mail. I see nothing in here. So... There's something Where right here. Why are you taking that? What is it? Flash drive? Why the hell would somebody send me a flash drive and... Yep, nope, nope. I, I know exactly what this is, Mom. I know exactly what this is. So have you ever seen on Google or something like people can send you flash drives, you plug it into your computer and like they get any info they want from you or they have it to self-destruct your computer? I feel like it's one of these. No, never heard of it. Never heard of one of these? No. No? Well, I have and I'm not putting this in my computer. I don't even want to know what this is. So we'll just leave that right there for now. I mean, whoever sent me that, nice the job trying to be slick, but uh... I ain't plugging that into my computer. I'm not that dumb. Well, I am dumb, but I'm not that dumb to plug something random like that into my computer. Uh, Mom, maybe I'll just plug this into your computer. I don't think so. Why not? Because I need mine for work. Oh, uh, yeah, well, same here. So, all right, well, that's it with that. I'm just going to put this back in here and uh, probably throw this out because there's no need to see what is actually on that. I'm gonna actually just take this, put this over here for now. Boom. Oh, another question. When's Daria coming back from college? My birthday. That's October 5th, right? Mm -hmm. Which means October 6th, we're going to the Vikings-Giants game, right? No? Not that I know of. 
Literally, I got my mom flipping concert tickets and she won't even take me to the Vikings game. I see how it is, mom. It's my birthday. Yeah, I know. I got you the concert tickets for your birthday. Um, they're comp tickets? Right. Don't talk about my gambling addiction, mom. Like, we don't. I don't have a gambling addiction. I just go to the casino once in a blue moon and, you know, I'm already a platinum card, so. <laughs> what? What? You used to go all the time when you were young. No, I didn't. We went to a Leonard Skinner concert once at oh. the Bagada. Yeah, and, and you went, and you went, and you went. I remember you abandoned me and you went on the casino floor. I remember that very well because security had to come up to me and they're like, Hey, you're not supposed to be by like this machine or anything. I'm like, I don't know, I'm just a little eight year old kid. You don't remember that? You, Uncle Bill, Uncle no. Art, Uncle Rick. No. Yep, yeah, you you uh you abandoned me to gamble. I see how it is. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool story. Uh so yeah, I'm Bro. I want you to kinda like just uh, get rid of this, like I mean, don't necessarily throw it out, but put it somewhere. Because I feel like if that's one of those devices that can destroy computers, it could come in handy one day, like, you know, to send to somebody just to do as a prank. But, uh, yeah, thank you for handling that for me. Off vlog, I just got done talking to my mom. She told me about how my neighbor Mike is draining his pool. As you guys can see, there's a lot of water right there. And it left me with this great idea. Because apparently he's getting rid of this inflatable pool. And what if I take a knife versus a pool and make content out of that. I don't know, I thought it was a good idea. Let me know what you guys think down below. But I wanna actually ask Mike about that, see if I can do that for a video. He's pretty cool and uh, he's usually in the garage, which he is right now. Ah, he's smoking a little stogie and he's drinking his beer as usual. Hey, Jeffrey. Hey, Michael, I hope you don't mind if I vlog because I'm gonna vlog anyway. Right, yeah, by the way, nice little uh, bug shooter back there. Oh, you like that? Yeah, those are pretty cool. Jim yeah, has yeah, one. for Christmas. Did he really? Yep. Just like uh, how you got me that segue for my birthday? Yeah, yeah, you can ride it anytime you want. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mike. He tells me I can ride it all anytime I want, but I have to keep it here. That's that's like the worst trade ever. So, I have a question for you, Mike. First one is, uh, Kai pop your inflatable pool? So I heard you're getting rid of it with a knife. I don't care, we're throwing it away. Cool. The second question is, uh, did you like happen to leave anything in my mailbox last night? Your mailbox? Yeah. No. Did you go past my mailbox? I walked by when I went over there to play horseshoes yesterday. <laughs> but you didn't, oh my goodness, man, your chairs are a little flimsy. Uh, but you didn't, like, leave anything in my mailbox, did you? No. Okay. Why? So, <laughs> I don't know if you're going to believe this, but some strange things have been going on lately. Uh, today, my mom got a piece of mail, opened it, or handed it to me, I opened it up, and inside there was a USB drive. It literally came in this giant envelope, felt nothing was in it. But a little USB drive, and uh, I don't think it's smart to plug it into my computer. You didn't try to see what was on it? No, because Mike, have you ever heard about the like drives you get off of Amazon and people plug into their computers and kill it? <laughs> yeah, my stepson actually got one from uh, Amazon. He put it in my work computer, crashed the whole thing. Did he really? Yeah. That actually kind of sucks. Uh, did your job like buy you a new computer though? Yeah, I wasn't going to buy a new one. So, they sent me one. But here's the thing that I'm worried about, right? It could be one of those, or it could be a virus, and like, or somebody could just get into my computer from there. Like, I don't want that to happen at all. So, I mean, just find out. So at the end of the day, it wasn't you that put anything in my computer. No, I didn't, I didn't put anything in your mailbox. Okay, I just wanted to check because I don't want anything happening. Because I know Mike. You know, we've been on a little rough terms lately because of the whole Segway incident because of my birthday. <laughs> I figured, you know, you wanted to prank me, but alright, if it wasn't you, I'm going to believe you. You're one of the few neighbors I would believe. I said you can still ride it anytime you want. Yeah, but I'm, what I'm saying is, <laughs> you're one of the few neighbors I always believe no matter what. Okay. So, um, yeah, alright, thanks Mike, I appreciate that. Yeah, man. So, alright, well, how about this? Can I plug it into your computer? No. I, I don't want to wanna plug it in my computer. I plug it in mine. Alright, how about this? Go to the library. How about this? If this video gets 800 likes, I plug it into some computer and we find out what's on it. You think that's a good idea? Okay, that works, yeah. Because, like, I am curious, but at the same time, I don't want to find out. I want to find out, but I don't want to find out, you know? Yeah, you gotta get 800 likes, and then we'll do it. Yeah, well then, here. Tap, tap my camera lens with that beer for all the adult audience.
And no, I will not have one with you, Mike, because I have a young, impressionable audience. <laughs> See you, Mike. Let's Thanks go. for being a good sport. Take a look here of the grass, by the way. I cut this every week at my parents' house, and I do a fantastic job. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, it just looks very nice. We got the nice striped lines basically going here on the grass. But that's going to wrap it up for the vlog today. Uh, strange, strange day. Uh, Vikings won. That's usually strange, but it's also preseason. But I'm calling it now. Super Bowl this year, winning it finally after 50, 60 something years of uh, torment as a Vikings fan. Well, I haven't been alive that long, but for all Viking fans, I think they're going to finally win it. And uh, that thing I got sent to me, so I know Mike didn't send it to me, so that's that's a plus. But I don't know if I want to put it on my computer. So, Sax family, thank you guys all so much for watching the video today. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that sub button. It's currently 5.40 p.m. I want to edit this video and get it up in the same day. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. I might be live on Twitch tonight. Don't know yet. But until next time, it's been your boy Jeff keeping it real. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. And well, peace.